Guys, are you tired of switching back and forth between Zendesk and Microsoft Teams to stay on top of your customer tickets? Well, today we have got you covered. In this video, we'll show you how you can post your tickets from Zendesk to Microsoft Teams directly and automatically. So by integrating both of these powerful tools, you can automate your customer support process and improve your productivity and we are going to set up this integration without any coding so let's begin to set up this automation guys we are using pably connect which is an integration and automation tool and this is the landing page of pably connect and i'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can sign up for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations okay so you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name and after giving such names you can click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. Here you will find these two modules the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation triggers that event, which is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In this use case, guys, creating a ticket in Zendesk will act as a trigger to this workflow. And the action would be to send the same ticket details as a message on Microsoft Teams. Okay. So when you click here on the trigger section, it will ask to choose the trigger application. In this case, Zendesk would be our trigger application. Select it. Then you have to select the trigger event as new ticket. All right, and it will give you this URL, the webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with Zendesk by following these steps written here. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So you can read the instructions one by one and follow them. Let me show you directly how we can create this connection. Guys, this is my Zendesk applications dashboard. And here I'm going to click on this views option on the left hand side panel. Under views section, you will find this manage views option. Click on manage views. And the Zendesk admin center will open up. From here on the left hand side panel, when you scroll down, you will find this apps and integrations option. Click on it. And here, when you scroll down a bit more, you will find the webhooks se section. Click on webhooks. All right. And under here, guys, you have to click on this create webhook button on the top right corner. And if from this page, click on trigger or automation. Then here, click on next button. And it will ask to uh, give a name to this connection that we are creating using the webhook URL. So webhook URL is a kind of address by which we can transfer the data between two applications. It works more or less like API keys. Okay. So here it is asking for the name of the connection. So I am giving the name here as test connection. Okay. Here in the endpoint URL field, you have to paste this URL that you got from your workflow. Just so just copy the URL and paste it here in the endpoint field. Then select the request method of the uh, post as oh, sorry, the request method of sending the data as post and the request format is JSON and then scroll down and then click on test webhook button. Okay. So here you can see in this workflow, as I have copied the URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now we can perform a test submission to test our connection. Okay, for this, come back to the Zendesk admin center. And here you will find this send test button, click on send test. Alright, so a sample data of a ticket is sent to the workflow. Let us see here. And here you can see we have received the data. So this is how you are going to get the data. Whenever you are going to create a ticket in Zendesk, you will get the tickets tag, you will get the ticket subject like this help my friend, my printer is on fire. This is a sample subject, the ticket status as open or closed, the priority high, medium, low, the ticket ID and the tickets description. That's how you are going to capture the data of a ticket from Zendesk. 
Now guys, go back to the admin center. From here, click on create webhook and the webhook is created. Okay. Now guys, on the left hand side panel, uh, when you scroll up, you will find this objects and rules option. Click on objects and rules. From here, you will find, uh, when you scroll down, you will find business rules. Under business rules, you will find the triggers option. Click on triggers. All right. So we have created the connection, but here now we are going to define when we want to send the data to that connection. Okay. So here we have to set up a trigger so that every time you create a ticket, the data should be sent to the workflow. Okay. So here, uh, guys, under the trigger section, you will find this add trigger button on the top right corner. Click on add trigger. And here it will ask for the triggers name, the description, the category. So let me just quickly fill these things. So here I'm putting the name of the trigger as test trigger. Here you can provide some uh, test description if you want, or you can leave it just blank. Select the category as notifications. Then come here under meet all of the following conditions. So you have to select a condition by clicking on that condition button on which you want to send uh, the data so you can uh, learn about this from these instructions given okay so under the trigger you have to select the category as the notification and here the condition is trick ticket is created okay let us select the ticket is let me select the ticket okay is created okay this is the condition and after that scroll down and here let's see the instructions so now we have to add an action. So under actions option, click on add action button. And here you have to select notify active webhook option. Under notification section, select notify active webhooks. And from here, it will show you the list of the webhook URLs that you have created already. Okay. So this was my uh, URL connect connection that I have created, named it as test connection. I'm going to select this here. And here this JSON body box will open up here. You have to paste this JSON code by copying this, just copy this and you have to paste this here under uh, these curly braces like this. Okay. Like this. Okay. Then click on create button. All right. So you can see the test trigger was created. Okay. Now guys, uh, you can create a new ticket and capture the response here if you want. So I'm going to click on click on recapture webhooks response from here. Click on yes, and it will start waiting for the response again. Now let us check this connection that we have created. I'm going to add a new ticket. I'm going to add a new ticket manually on behalf of any customer. Okay. So here you can select a requester name if you have added the names. Okay, so we have a person here named as Ashmita Rai. Okay, so I'm this is this is the requester. You can assign it to any person if you have. I am assigning it to support group. Okay, you can provide a tag. You can provide a type. Question is the type. Priority is normal. All right, let's see here. You can type the subject as sample subject. I'm typing. Here, let me type a description. This is a new ticket. Okay, this is the description. All right. And here I'm going to click on submit as new. Okay. So a new ticket has been generated by me manually just to set up this automation. Okay. Let's check in our workflow. We got the data captured of this ticket. And here you can see we got the whole data captured like this. The status is open. Priority is normal. This is the organization's name. Here is the group's name. And here is the assignee's name. And here is the description of the ticket. Okay. And here is the subject of the ticket. We got everything. Now, guys, I want to send this data to Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to select Microsoft Team in this action step. Search for Teams here. Then you have to select the action event as send channel message. 
send channel message is here okay send message in a channel okay then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with microsoft teams and it will bring you to the sign in window if you're not signed in but if you are signed in like me it will just ask the permissions to be granted in your account and here you have to give the consent then click on accept okay so we are now connected and here it is asking that about the team on which you want to send the message to so here is uh, the microsoft teams so here we can create teams under teams we can create channels so we have many teams here uh, so my team is this one public connect team and this is a general channel okay so i'm going to select public connect here and then i'm going to select the channel's name as general okay so here you will find the general channel then here you can type a message for your team so let me type a message here so i have typed the message here as this this is to inform you that we have a new ticket raised in zendesk the details are as follows so here i'm going to send i want to send all these details in a message to my team the tickets title status priority description and the assignee's email so guys i'm going to map these labels i, uh, I have received here when i have created the ticket manually we have received these labels okay so i'm going to map these labels from the first step to the second step so that in real time whenever any ticket is going to be raised the in the new message the labels will be updated and new data will be sent okay so let me show you how to map the data you just have to click here on in front of the ticket title and the previous step will appear here in the drop down like this and when you click on it you will get the data right here so from here you can just click on it to map the data map the labels okay so map the status then the priority okay then you'll find the description as well and the assignee's email here all right now when you click on save and send test request this this message will be sent to the general channel in front of you so let's test our connection i'm going to click on save and send test request button here all right so this is the response we got here let's check our general channel if we got a message and here we got the message like this this is to inform you that we got a new ticket these are the details okay and these are the same details that i have mapped here and we have received from zendesk so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that in real time whenever your customer is going to create a ticket the data will be sent in a message to your team on microsoft teams automatically and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.